Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve minimization problem sum when the problem is unbalanced and also includes prohibited cells. So this is a combination of unbalanced and prohibited assignment problem. Okay, this is our 12th problem sum in our assignment model topic. Okay, so let us see how to solve the sum when we have been given unbalanced and a prohibited assignment. Okay, now let us see how to solve the question number 12 from our video series based on assignment problem. The question reads out find an assignment to minimize the cost. So it's a minimization problem sum. Uh, there are four locations, I mean sorry, five locations A, B, C, D and E and we have been given four machines, one, two, three, four. So first of all the problem sum is not balanced because there are four rows and five columns. So we'll have to balance the problem. Next, I can see there are some prohibited values given in the question. So it is a sum where the sum is not balanced plus there are some prohibited values. Okay. So now let us see how to solve such kind of sum. First of all, since it is unbalanced, the very first step will be that we'll have to make it balanced. Okay. So number one, we'll have to first make it balanced. So balance matrix. Okay. Similar uh, structure we'll have to create that is where we'll have the locations. We'll have the locations and we'll have the values of machines. Okay, so locations may we have A, B, C, D and E. So we have location may five locations and in machines we have M1, M2, M3, M4. I note down the values 11, 13, 17, 12, 13, 13, 11, dash, 12, 11, dash, 13, 16, 13, 9, 16, 10, 14, 9, and 10. Okay. Now, since the problem sum was not balanced, there was one lesser row. We'll have to create a dummy. M5, I'm putting a dot here. So we come to know that's a dummy row that we are going to put in. Since it is dummy, the values of the entire row will be zero. Now the problem is balanced. So our next step will be, since it's a minimization, our next step will be, we'd have to find the row minimization. Now for row minimization, again, we'll create a, the structure of our table which will have yeah you know the location ka detail and machines ka detail in row now we have a b c d and e and and this will have m1 m2 m3 m4 and m5 now row wise it's row minimization so we'll have to take the lowest value from each row so from the first row, 11 is the lowest value. So it will become 11 minus 11, 0, 13 minus 11, 2, 17 minus 11 will be 6, 1 and 2. In the next row, again, prohibited areas, just ignore it. Think there's that, that thing is not available. So take the lowest value, 11 and solve it normally. So 13 minus 11 will give you 2, 0, dash remains dash. That's the prohibited value. Uh, 12 minus 11 is 1 and 0 again another prohibited value just ignore it the lowest value is 13 oh, sorry the lowest value is 9 so it will be dash we'll have the value as 4 7 4 and 0 next may the lowest value is again 9 so it will become 7 1 5 0 and 1 last made is 0 so we'll just note down all the zeros Step number three, once our row minimization is done, our next step will be column minimization. Okay, now in order to solve column minimization, again structure, we'll have similar structure where we'll have the details of our machines and our locations. 
in location we have a b c d and e m1 m2 m3 m4 and m5 column wise the lowest value 0 so 0 minus everything will give you apparently the same values in second again 0 is the lowest value the values remain same in third again 0 values will remain same in fourth again 0 is the lowest value value will remain the same fifth again 0 is the lowest the value remains the same once we are done with the column minimization we start with assigning the values so all those rows which has first one zero will get assigned okay so in the first row there's only one zero we assign that all subsequent zeros get crossed out in the second row there are two zeros can't do anything in third there's only one zero we assign that all other subsequent zeros get crossed out in row four there's only one zero we use it cross out all of the zeros in row five again now there are two zeros can't do it so all the rows are done we go column by first column is done second may again there are two zeros can't do anything third has only one we cross it out and we cross out all others others uh, again that column number d doesn't have any e doesn't have any we go again row wise first row is done second row there's only one zero we use that okay all the zeros have been marked out so we now calculate the assigned number of values so the assigned values is one two three four five so there are five values of assigned and the matrix size is also you know it's a five by five table therefore we can say that the solution is optimal therefore the optimal assignment is For M1, we are been given location A. The value is, you know, the cost is 11. For machine 2, the location is B. The value is again 11. For machine 3, the location is E. The value for which is 9. So we take it from the original, okay? For machine 4, it has been given D. So 4 ka D is 9. And for machine 5, it has been given a C. So machine 5 is a dummy, which becomes 0. When you add up 11, 11, 22 plus 9 plus 9 is 18. So 22 plus 18 is 40. Therefore, the total minimum, since it's a minimization sum, so the total minimum cost is equal to rupees 40. Okay, so that was the sum how we had to solve when they were had given you some based on minimization But then again, they, the sum was unbalanced plus it had some prohibited values Okay, so this is how you all have to solve the sum when they have given you some prohibited places along with you know Minimization along with unbalance Okay, I hope everyone have understood this. This was our 12th video in a video series based on assignment model I hope everyone have understood that. With that, we'll be ending this video here. Thank you.